What's up guys? Welcome back to Tag Catter Fishing. Today we are going to do a review video on some bait enhancers. Um, I've got here some Potseek Bait Company Catfish Nectar and the Team Catfish Dead Red Blood Spray. Uh, these are bait enhancers, like I said. What you do is you can marinate your baits in these for a couple hours. Uh, today I don't have a couple hours. What I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna cut some frozen shad that I have up, put them in a bucket and pour some of this catfish nectar on it, let it kind of marinate for a little bit. And then I'll take some uh, some chunks to spray some of this dead red blood spray on it. Um, I've used this stuff before. Um, it seems like it works really well with channel cats. Uh, I have not used it for, for larger catfish. Uh, but today that's what we're going for. We're going for larger catfish. Um, well, it's gonna have mixed results, I guess. So we'll, we'll see and uh, you guys stay tuned. Hopefully we can get some fish. All right, here's some of the frozen shad. We're gonna get those cut up and throw some bait enhancer on it. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna take all this, put it in the bucket. Stuff's still frozen. It should thaw out here. Seat catfish nectar on. Also, put some shrimp in there. Maybe for some channel cats. I watched a video of this stuff on YouTube of some guys, I guess the makers of this thing, using it at the James River. And it seemed like it worked really, really well. But they also had fresh bait. So. I believe this is a channel cat and this was on the frozen shad with pot seat. Yep, a fat channel cat. Well he is fat. Fat little thing. I told you guys, these things, it seems like they just love the, uh, the pot seek stuff. Uh, you can see he's got mud on his belly. These things probably been in the mud the last couple of weeks because where it's been so cold. And then we had the, the big snow and the temperature drop. But he decided to hit that. Uh, we got some fresh shad now. I caught some... Uh, some fresh shad in my, my throat net a little bit ago. So we're gonna soak that in some in some of the pot seek and see how that does. But we're gonna let this little guy go and uh, see if we can get another fish. Tell how 
little channel cap. Seems like these things are eating good in here because they're all fat. There's one I'm caught. I've caught. This is the second one. And the first one was really fat too. These little channel cats are fun, but man, can they be annoying most of the time. Pretty little thing. He got a lot of mud on his belly. I think these fish are still tucked down in the mud with the cold weather. And seems like they're coming out in spurts. I'll get three or four bites on, on the poles and nothing will hook up. But it's all, I'm sure it's all these little small channel cats, but we're gonna let this one go. Channel cat. Seems like these things, the bigger ones that are actually getting hooked, are bouncing it a couple times and then they're just sitting there with it. So I can't really tell. They're not taking the, taking the clicker. So I'm going to change my bait and they're on there. Oh, it's a mud dog. <laughs> Old mud dog. Now that is cool. It's been a long time since I caught one of these guys. This little thing has went and got two of my baits. This could be some more problem right here, these little mud dogs. This thing is slimy. He's got me all tangled up. I noticed that one right there. Uh, that thing was moving up river. So I knew something was on there. Didn't know what. Now I found out why. Anyways, see it, guys. These are actually a type of a salamander. Uh, native to West Virginia. These things do have teeth, uh, and they will bite you. But I'll try to get him off here. Not hurting too bad. some little problem right here these things are nasty I don't know if you guys ever seen one of those before but just like a little salamander called a mud puppy uh, some people get these confused with hellbenders um, hellbenders are very very rare uh, and they get a whole lot bigger than these things um, we're gonna let this little guy go get him back out there let him still s'more my damn baits. <laughs> Anyways, guys, stay tuned. See if we can't get on some fish instead of some salamanders. All right, guys, we've uh, we've fished this spot for probably going on two hours, and there's a lot of channel cats in here. Uh, like I said before, these channel cats have been pecking me to death. I can't even keep my bait out there. And it's all small ones. Uh, we're going to give this place about another thirty minutes. See if we can't catch a big one, and then we're going to. Uh, move up the river a little bit into a big curve and it should be deeper right there and I'm hoping it'll be holding some bigger fish. But anyways, uh, you guys stay tuned. We're gonna see if we can get them some more. All right, guys, I just finished up that video on uh, the review of the Potseek catfish nectar. I'm gonna have to continue this video for the reason that uh, the spot I was fishing seemed like there was a lot of channel cats. Um, I used fresh shad and the frozen shad uh, marinated in the pot seek and i'm i'm not even 100 percent sure if i'm pronouncing that right uh it's catfish nectar uh, pot seek catfish nectar i was going to do the review on the um, team catfish uh, dead red blood spray uh, but 
it's so cold outside it uh it ended up freezing and i couldn't i couldn't use it so i just used the pod seek but anyways um, i'm gonna continue this video and uh, i want to thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more content guys uh don't forget to click the thumbs up and follow the pages i also have a youtube channel you guys don't forget to subscribe to that um share us with your friends um i think if you guys want to try that pot seek out i'm not sponsored by those guys or anything like that it's just a you know i just picked it up to do the review on it um i've used it before um i watched a video on um i think it was the company that actually did it, it was at the james river um they used fresh shad marinated in the pot seek and they they did really really well um, but again i'm going to continue this video and uh thanks for watching